Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I just pulled up to my OB appointment. I am 13 weeks tomorrow and yeah, we're just here to check on baby and make sure everything looks good, make sure the heart sounds good. Um, we did not do a gender reveal or anything like that, but our blood work did come back for um, the gender and we are having another baby girl. So I'm so excited. I totally thought it was a boy the whole time and because it was pretty similar to my last pregnancy um, to my son that I had lost actually around this point in pregnancy so I've had a lot of anxiety um, in the last like week or so because I'm pretty much approaching like I'm days away from the day that I found out that our son was gone so with this pregnancy so I'm just kind of anxious about that and I don't really know why because it's not like something's gonna happen to this baby at the exact same time that it happened to the last baby but I just I can't explain pregnancy after loss to you guys unless you've been through it and if you've been through it you totally know what I'm saying and what I'm feeling so I just pulled up to my appointment I'm going to head inside we're gonna check and make sure everything looks good her heart sounds good we're gonna check on um, you know all of that stuff my weight and all of that and kind of just talk about baby girl so that's what I'm doing today and I'm just gonna kind of bring you guys along with me hopefully I can record um, the ultrasound machine so you guys can see little baby girl moving around in there we do have a name picked out already but we're not gonna share her name until she's born um, we've done that with both of our girls so and we would have done that with our son as well so I just her name is a secret but we do have it picked out and everything so I'm very excited hopefully I don't slip her name at any point in this video so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy today's video it is so cold outside today I am so dumb for not wearing my coat. Oh. There we go. It's like the shortest elevator ride. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't wait to see my baby girl. There's a camera in here. I look like a dummy. There probably totally is. I just don't know where. Get to see baby. Um, I don't really have that big of a bump right now. Like it's really just this tiny little, tiny little thing right here. I've been really sick lately, so I think I've lost, I've lost like three pounds. So I'm looking kind of thin right now, but yeah. I mean, she's in there, but I can't wait to see her. I don't have a TV though. Usually there's like a TV right here. So I'm gonna have to like turn and record on here. Hopefully I can do that. Just sitting in my, under my little uh, thing here. Just waiting. I'm really hoping I'll be able to like have her turn the machine so I can record some of the baby moving around. That would be nice. gonna be a little bit on there yeah hopefully she can turn it so I can see it better she's, she's huge look at her legs and everything thing. or is yes. that the cord this is the umbilical cord here's the but, leg yeah here. that leg though yeah that's her that's leg crazy. let me see if I can and here's her, here's her hand up here her arm or something let me this is the picture she'll start moving so I'm gonna get you a picture here Huge she is compared Can to last see? week. Like here's the um, upper arm, here's the forearm, and then I can't really see the fingers. Hold on, I'm gonna hold this with my other hand so I can see. Nobody have Brie come in and record for you? No, that's okay. See some feet right here? That's crazy. And of course we saw the heart moving around. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first thing I looked for. Is that her little spine? Like yeah, right here, here's like the that. spine, and then. We are out of my appointment. Baby girl looks great. I'll show you guys the 
ultrasound photos, even though I inserted that little clip for you guys. But this, oh, okay. So this picture is like kind of artistic, but it's her like head and body, and then you can see her hand and her leg and her foot. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but then that one, and then this one's probably like my favorite, this little one, but yeah, she looks, she looks good. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just, I can't wait to hold her when she's born and just hold her and be like, hi honey, <laughs> we made it, you know? Like we made it, we're here and we made it. And I just, I can't wait for that moment. Um, now that I'm in the second trimester, it just feels like from here on out, it can only be good, you know? Like it can only be good from here on out. Um, the first trimester was rough with all of the pregnancy after loss thoughts and emotions and the sickness and just everything. The first trimester was rough and I'm excited to be <laughs> saying adios to that first try and just moving forward and looking forward to the day that I get to hold her and love on her and nurse her and dress her and I just like I could like tear up just talking about it and I just can't wait to just have her in my arms and just be like we made it but I'm gonna go get some food I'm starving and then I thought about going downtown into one of my favorite little boutique shops um I kind of wanted to look at a couple of little footies for her um, I went through all of our baby stuff a couple of weeks ago and the only thing that I really should be buying or can buy for her are like newborn footy pajamas. I had a lot of like Carter's ones with Maylee and Ayla and which is fine but they all got like stained and worn out and the zipper starts to like get all funky so this time around I think I'm just gonna do like all like bamboo and just like that really soft like milk silk material because one it's just cozier and two I feel like the zipper doesn't get all wonky and as long as you take care of them they they last so eventually yes they do get pilly but as long as you take care of them and don't dry them you lay them flat to dry or lay them on a drying rack then they're good so anyway, I don't need to give you guys a whole spiel on how to take care of bamboo pajamas, but we're here and she's, she's healthy, her heart's beating and she looks great. She looks perfect and all her DNA results came back normal. So I just, I'm just so grateful and so thankful for this baby girl and she's always going to just be this special little place in my heart and I just I just can't wait to meet her but let's go get some food because I'm starving <laughs> okay I am home I was gonna vlog while I was shopping but to be honest with you I was feeling pretty nauseous while I was in the stores so I decided not to vlog while I was in the stores. After I ate my lunch, I was like feeling really queasy. So I just kind of wanted to go in and relax and not have to worry about pulling out the camera and just kind of look at everything without vlogging. So, plus you guys probably only care about the actual haul part anyway. So this is gonna be just a tiny little haul. I went to a store called Sweet Pea downtown um, and got a handful of things for baby girl. Oh my gosh, Adam just pulled up. <laughs> and now he's honking. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So I did get these um, burp cloths. So I got this um, floral and then, oh, that's the same one. This one that has like little bees on it. And then I love this 
flowery part. Um, I use burp cloths all the time with the kids. I used to buy those little burp bibs, but I never really used those. So I use the burp cloths all the time. So I wanted to get a pack of these. I need to double check and see how many I have still at home. And if I don't have a ton, then I'm gonna buy a couple more packs of these because I use them all the time. I got a little pack of stage one um, bibs pacifiers. So these are just the purple um, first size one, I don't know. Uh, Ayla did not take a pacifier, but Maylee did. So I'm not sure if um, they'll get used or not, but I also got this bumblebee swaddle. <laughs> Ayla just got, Ayla and Adam just walked inside and Ayla was staring at me, mama. Um, I got this little bee swaddle. It's really, really cute. It's got little honey bees on it. And then, <laughs> and then I got these um, floral swaddle as well. It's really hard to see the print, but it's a really pretty swaddle blanket. So most of the stuff's from Copper Pearl, which I just love the material of Copper Pearl. And then the last little thing I got is Angel Deer. Um, the only thing that baby really needs clothing wise are like newborn and like zero to three month footies. So I got this one. It's just a really sweet pattern, the little grid pattern with like roses. Um, and then on the back, it has like a little ruffle detailing on the butt, but I got this in a size newborn. So yeah. And that's everything I got. So I got this, a couple swaddles, the lighting's being weird, the pacifiers, and then the burp cloths. But like I said, I definitely think I'm gonna need more burp cloths because my kids spit up a lot, especially Maylee. She was a reflux baby. So I went through burp cloths like five or six a day with that kid because they were just soaked after every feeding. So that is everything I got for baby girl today, but I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and hang out with the girls for a little bit and try to get just a couple of things done around the house. And yeah, I don't really know how much more I'm gonna vlog today, but. Dr. Pepper is my favorite. I just got the most giant wave of nausea. And so I am going to relax for the rest of the night. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.